Good morning, ESM. I'm Avery. And I'm Todd. Goof on my Avery. What are you trying to say there, Todd? I was trying to say Happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, I think you said it in an Italian accent. It was Norwegian. It was definitely not Spanish. Danke. German? Oui. Hundreds gathered Tuesday in downtown Syracuse in response to the leaked draft opinion from the Supreme Court that would overturn Roe v. Wade. Trish Hippolio an attendee who has participated in women's marches since the 80s said, women should have the right to control their own body. We thought we had fought this fight 50 years ago and here we are still fighting it again. I'm way past my reproductive time, but I'm doing this for my children, my grandchildren, all young women who are out there and need to have agency over their own body. Although New York would continue to have abortion legalized in the case of Roe vs. Wade being overturned, activists still fear for those rights of those in other states. The Supreme Court has said that the leaked opinion does not represent a final decision and an official vote will be expected in the next month or two. Today an advisory to the mayor of Maripool said thousands of men have been detained in filtration camps forcing torture and forced labor. Four weeks ago all men were removed from multiple districts in Maripool with 2,000 people being placed in schools and clubs. The men were forced to sleep on floors and corridors with lack of hygiene or access to medical care. According to the advisor, a man died in the, after the Russians refused to call an ambulance. He also claimed a single sink of cold water is shared by thousands of detainees who only receive porridge as food. There's some good news today in the ESM community. There was a petition for Mr. Dixon to wear a wig which has been filled. Even some teachers and administrators signed it. If you have any suggestions for wigs, you can suggest them to Ava, Wal Ava Walters. Thank you for your support for this cause, and thank you, Mr. Dixon. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yoga Club will meet today after school in the library. Wear comfortable clothes. Mats and other equipment will be provided. We hope to see you on the mats. Questions? See Mrs. Fulner or Miss Welch. Namaste. There will be a short planning meeting for the girls' basketball program in room D10 after school today. That is Thursday, May 5th. Class of 2023 is hosting the PB&J Lunchbox Food Truck. It will be in the ESM Stadium parking lot from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. You can pre-order online or walk up in order. PB&J Lunchbox ha has much more than their popular grilled PB&J. Turkey, grilled cheese, buffalo chicken, and much more. This is a fundraiser, and the class of 2023 appreciates your support. Cinco de Mayo, Spanish for the 5th of May, is a yearly celebration which commemorates the anniversary of Mexico's victory over the French Empire at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. Although this holiday is meant to celebrate the outcome of the battle, it has taken much different meaning here in the United States. In the United States, it is a day to celebrate the Mexican culture in general. Some common traditions and ways to celebrate Cinco de Mayo are to color your home. Popular colors of Cinco de Mayo consist of red, green, and white. These colors mirror the ones that are on the Mexican flag. Each of these colors have a meaning of the first, the first being red, which represents religion and the blood of national heroes. White represents the unity and purity, and then green represents hope and independence. Lots of times on Cinco de Mayo, festivals are hosted out in the streets. People wear bright colored dresses and clothing to represent their love of Mexican culture. With these festivals being outside, weather will play a big role. Let's see what's going on this week. Today, it's going to be a very sunny day, so you won't expect any overhead clouds or rainstorms, which is a pretty good way to start off today. Now, today we'll have a high of 66 and a low of 41, so it's going to be a little bit, lot warmer than we've had over the past couple days, and that trend is going to continue all the way over to Friday and over the weekend, and Friday, Saturday 
are both going to be rainy, but after that, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are all expected to be very warm, with Wednesday having a high of 82, so we're definitely getting into warmer weather. With that, I'm Grayson, so good weather. Another tradition of Seco de Mayo is the food. Many celebrations of Mexico's culture and victory include dishes native to the area, such as mo poblano. Tamales, fish tacos, Mexican street corn, and carnitas are all Mexican staples that are heavily consumed while celebrating Cinco de Mayo. The girls track team destroyed Oswego with a score of 111 to 30. Aquat Kuwani broke the school record in the 100 hurdles with a time of 15.6 seconds. Amber Hayes won the 400 hurdles, Ariana Finkelstein won the shot put, Sophia Jackson won the discus, Akasha Nunnally won the pole vault, Margaret Madding won triple jump, Rhiannon Bushko won high jump, Riley King won the 100 and 200 dash. Rachel Ladd won the 1500 and all three relay teams won. The boys track team won against Oswego 97-44. Mike Parks won the 110 hurdles, breaking his record again with a time of 14.2. He also won high jump and long jump and tied for first with Rocky L in the 100 meter dash. Caleb Bird won the 1600 and 800. Kevin Hasty won shot put and discus. LJ Benjamin won the 400. Dan Tovar won the 200, and Luke Mancini won pole vault. Also, all three relay teams won. The unified basketball team started their season with a 41, 40-21 win over FM. The Miami Heat beat the Philadelphia 76ers 119-103, and the Phoenix Suns beat the Dallas Mavericks 129-109. This week in the New York State Public High School Athletic Association third annual Mental Health Awareness Week with this supporting uh, the color for this week is green. So ESM Athletics and the boys varsity lacrosse team ask you to come tonight and wear green at their game at Auburn, I mean against Auburn at 6 p.m. Unified Basketball has a game at home against Casanova at 4. Boys Tennis has a match at West Jenny at 4.30. Girls softball has a game at Central Square at 5. The girls lacrosse team plays at Auburn at 6.30. And I'm Ryan with your sports. All right, and that'll do it here from Spartan News. For Avery and I and everyone here at the morning show, happy Cinco de Mayo.